This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational, and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers, to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can, what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. What's up guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here you can also find on Rumble, and if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. <laughs> But take it off. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, do you know do you know where the basketball courts are here? I really don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> do you know if they have any here? Uh, if they're here, I'm not sure exactly. Golly. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, Steve, I got to talk to you about some chats with Katie. Okay. So you should probably just turn the car. Okay. Well, we, dude, Steve, you understand that this is all going. Okay. <laughs> Steve, we have your plate. You, you should probably just come back and talk. You think it's gonna be over? Do you think it's gonna be over because you're driving away? Do you really think that? Do you really think that? Oh uh, yeah, I can give you my number. That's fine. Well, I mean, I don't know if I need it. I, this is gonna get ugly. I can tell you that. Like. Oh. He also has a temper, and he doesn't ever leave this early in the morning. Like, it all is starting to make sense. Do you know where he went? He's supposed to go to Home Depot. I'm a small business owner, okay. and uh, I was supposed to move into my store today, and he, like, got a hair up his ass this morning and decided he had to go buy wood. Got to go do it right the fuck now to build me displays. And I thought it was weird, but I didn't I know, know I was telling him that. I was like, I bet he left first thing this morning. He did. And he, 
So, I mean, I, I have got a lot of my own things I got to sort out now, too. Oh, absolutely. I, this affects my work. And yeah. I just, I mean, I'm really sorry. If oh, there's, God. I mean, do you need my phone number? Like, I, I don't know what I'm. Yeah, like, don't apologize to me because you didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he obviously was doing this shit behind y'all's back for years and without. I mean, how, how are you supposed to know? I mean, like the micromanaging the guy, so. Oh, he's in one of those and just stays inside. I hope not. I mean, he fucking knows what's up. Yeah, guys, he did wake up feeling scared. That's why he left so early. Yep, exactly. All right. First time going live on Twitter. Typically, if you want to see us go live, uh, go to the Puggy Pug channel on YouTube. But all right, cool. With some nice bag of chots. How's it going, Brian? We're filming for safety reasons. We're filming. I know your I know your wife's house has cameras and all that stuff. All right, can we just kind of have it like just standing up facing each other? I mean, huh? Well, I mean, it's up to you. I, I totally get that, dude. I know it's nerve wracking, like being in this situation, but you know, obviously, like I preferably don't want you to like bolt off again like last night. Okay. I mean, I kind of just trust it more that I can just see your hands at all times and all that. Okay. I ain't got no I got one little pocket knife. Okay. I got you. So, I mean, I guess before we get into everything, like, when did this type of stuff, like, all start for you, man? I've been in place for a minute, and I don't know. Has this kind of always just been a feeling for you, like, after high school or whatever? I'm not here to judge you genuinely. Not really. I honestly, I've always just like type people. I was as a child myself. And Got it. And I personally, out of that, I never saw real justice. He got off scot free basically for some bullshit charge because he testified against. He was involved with the old. Uh, uh, Old is a big thing with boys. Like a ring. Federal is a federal credit union thing or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I basically I was I got lucky. I was almost into it, but he did stuff with me. Um, I honestly, most of my life, was despised people like that. And I don't know. I've been in a dark place and just, just looking for some attention. And just, I don't know. I look in the way around the place. Yeah, and so I, I guess like rather than, uh, I guess just rather being than, you know, obviously, you know, there's monsters that are created and then obviously you were just made like this because something happened to you. So obviously, you know, now we know the reason why this happened because, you know, you never got justice in your childhood. Um, just curious, like, what do, you, what do you do for work? Okay, and you help your wife with her business and stuff like that? Okay. Well, I appreciate, you know, obviously you're a family man and, you know, you help, I mean, shit, you're here to buy wood for her. I mean, you obviously care about her. So, you know, I, I know this was a slip up for sure. You got yeah. kind of carried away. Um, I bolted last night in the dark conditions. I wasn't in there. So oh, no, I get it. I, I like, <laughs> I should have told you that we weren't there to hurt you because I, I think that's what you probably were probably thinking. Yeah, it makes sense. So, I, I guess before we get into anything, how, how old was Katie and her sister? But Katie was 14. I really, honestly, your sister, I really, I didn't, wasn't, didn't even know. Okay. Even Katie was wrong, too, and thinking about it. Okay. So, so, the, so the plan was just for Katie, then, ideally? Honestly. Yeah. Okay. And I, I was... I don't know if I could have. I mean, it, I was I was nervous the whole time. I understand. W was the plan to kind of like just leave it up to Katie? Yeah. Okay. 
So all of this stuff in the messages would have only happened had she been okay with it? Yeah. Okay. So the plan, so you weren't planning on like taking her, you know, kidnap her or doing anything for her? It would have just been, it would have had to be like consensual Okay. So the plan was just to have consensual sex with Katie, is that correct? Okay. So, you know, going, going back to, and Katie is the 14 year old. Okay. So, I mean, can you mention, you know, the six year old sister, six is too young. Um, okay. Right. Uh, I get that, man. Like, you, you know, I, obviously most of the time you're a family man and this, this, and this was a moment of weakness, I'd say. You know, I don't think you're a bad person. But, you know, but it was, it was mentioned in the messages, too, that there was a 16-year-old girl that dated you. saying that to make her feel more comfortable. Was it just more of an online thing? Yeah, never, nothing, never, there was no girl, I just made it up. Okay. So, I guess, how many years ago did the online stuff start with you? I don't know, I've kind of just looked and dabbled and talked to girls online. It's mostly all fake and scammers and really, you know. Mm hmm I mean, I'm sure you talk to adults online, too. Yeah, it's... Okay. I, which, I mean, honestly, I've never, I don't step out or anything. So, so, it's not exclusively younger ladies under 18? No. Okay. It's just a few online over the... I don't know. I, there's, I've messaged a couple, but immediately just blocked them and shit before. And I don't know. I don't, just had a moment of weakness. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have to mention it. The, 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 the other ones that, you know, messaged you previously, how old were they? Were they also like 14, 13, or younger? I don't or? Even remember. Okay. They just told you some age under 18? Yeah. And okay. I was like, was it all on Scout or was it like on other apps too? Or uh, I think it was just on that one. Okay. Did Did you guys ever talk on Telegram? No, I don't. No, I've never even used that. Okay. I don't even know what that is. Do you have like WhatsApp or Google Hangouts? Okay. I think the Google Hangouts is on my phone, but I don't. I never got into it. Okay. I mean, there was. I mean, the first thing on Scout, I, I think, did you message first? I don't really remember, I think okay. so. Okay. So she told you she was, did she say 14 or 13? I don't, I did 14. Okay. So after she, t after she said her age, the first thing sent from your end was a picture. I mean, there were definitely quite a few pictures sent. Okay. Was that just a lapse of judgment? Yeah. Okay. Complete. We're just kind of lonely and yeah. Okay. And then there was also, was there, did you send a video to her too? Yeah, a little bit. Well, a, 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 a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> well, I mean, it was a little one. I don't know how quick it was. I didn't watch the video, but. Okay. So, I assume the video is probably taken for her. Yeah. Okay. So, were all the pics sent for her too, or were some of them saved, or they were all just taken for her? But they were both all just previously saved ones. Okay. But the video is new. Yeah. Huh? Okay, got it. I mean, this is on Scout. It was mentioned here, aren't you curious about and can help stimulate your to grow. Okay. I would pick you up and we can go to the park somewhere in Council Bluffs. Have you lived in a Council Bluffs your whole life? Uh, no, mostly Omaha. Okay. And here was, this was on Scout. I thought it was in person. Have you been with someone like my age? Wanted to meet next week and have never seen one. You said not for a long time. Here's mine. And then the picture was sent here. Let's meet later today. Um, so she asked, "Have you been with somebody her age?" And you said, "Not in a long time." So if it's if it's been a while, well, honestly, for someone her age, yeah, when I was a kid myself. Mm -hmm. 
but you know obviously I can, I can see that you're a good dude that gets slips up once in a while like in this case and ends up having these lapses in judgment you know now that I know that you weren't that you're not just born like this you're not proud of it but something made you like this I mean how many other times have those lapses in judgments happened? I don't mean just messaging. I mean, like, in person. You may have gotten carried away with somebody. No. Has you ever been accused of it before? No? Okay. So it's been just, you know, except for this time, it was just online with younger la ladies under 18? No. Okay. So is this kind of, was this kind of like a fantasy turned reality? Okay. Are you excited to have blah, 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 blah. So, a lot of selfies were sent here. Then it was asked here, will you send me a pic? Um, okay. Did she ever send you any? Uh, one of the chest pic. Okay. So you, did you, you like didn't force any photos out of her? No. Okay, you were just kind of curious to see her. Yeah. Uh, is that say again? Yeah. Okay. Picks. Okay. So any of the other look like, and I understand. That. Is this your first time like meeting somebody under eighteen online? Yeah. Okay. So the other ones were they around Council Bluffs? Or? I haven't met with anybody else. Okay. No, no, I know, but were the other ones that chatted you up around Council Bluffs? At least their profiles said they were. So. Okay. And they just told you, like, I'm actually a kid, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, were the... Because, you, you know, Brian, obviously, I know, like, for probably years, you've kept this online, but obviously it turned into something in person, but... Uh, you know, did the other ones... Were the conversation... Because, look, like... I know, I believe you didn't go to meet them, but I also know that they didn't tell your age and you immediately blocked, because that's just, you don't go from immediately blocking to a month of conversations with phone calls and all of that type of stuff. Were the messages just kind of similar, just kind of flirty back and forth with the other ones? A little bit, and then it was, because those other ones, it, yeah, it was flirty, and then they would say and mention their age, and then I would tell them, no, I'm not interested because of your age. And, Right, but when Katie tells you immediately, you know, this is my age, and, you know, then the then it would, picture was sent after, I mean. I, I honestly, I don't know, I just thought I'd be flirty, I'm lying, everything. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly didn't think she was real anyway, so I, didn't, I just thought that's all it would be. So. And then the phone call yeah, started and all. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Okay. So when you first messaged, you just basically thought like, uh, this is probably just some scammer. And then it, then it just, then the phone calls then just turned into something way more than you thought it would be. Yeah. Okay. So is the farthest it went with like the other people that said they were younger than 18 online, is the farthest it went just back and forth and that's about it? They didn't get that far. Okay. Did, so was it just kind of, did only, did only, one of you guys send it to each other, or did they just send one to you, or did you send one to them, or? No, before, I, I didn't, wouldn't even send it. I mean, that last time I even talked to one that was underage, it was, I don't know, a couple years, I don't know, a couple years back, and honestly, it was, yeah, finding out the age, and I, no, I wasn't comfortable with it. Okay. What's it? What's an estimate on the amount of like younger ladies under eighteen that have hit you up online and had a conversation with you? Is it okay? Would you say like over five, but under ten? Maybe five at most. Okay. Five. Got it. Okay. I mean, the messages got pretty escalated. I'd say, like here we said, <clears throat> you'll be it and you said I, she said I was scared when I saw it I haven't seen one before you said and also looking on it putting as much as you can in your mouth and eventually it'll be going in your and when you're ready and you're I will 
for your So were you just gonna leave all that up to her? Yeah. Okay. So this would have only happened had she gave you the she'd been okay with it. Okay. Well I respect that. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, gosh, I don't want to sit here all day just going through these. So, you know, obviously, like, now that I know that, you know, because what happened to you, what, may I ask, like, what age this happened to you at? Like, uh, I was young. Uh, I was in something like that. Got it. Something like that, I don't know, like, I don't know. I have a problem. I don't. I've always been an internal person. I don't talk to people about shit. Right. My mind lives fucking places. Does your wife know that you got molested? Yeah. Okay. But not many people do. No. Got you. Did you? Did you ever ask for? A, I'm not saying you would have done anything in person with her, but did you ever ask for a nine-year-old sister? Okay. Did you ever ask for just a picture of her? Uh, I think so. Okay. I think I asked about a picture of her time. Right. And, you know, not saying it was practical for that to happen um, with a nine-year-old, but did you mention in the messages that the nine-year-old would be doing stuff like stuff like that? Right. So that was just kind of a getting carried away? Yeah. Okay. So is that just something you kind of just fantasized about then? Yeah, not the age right. really. Yeah. Was it more of just the thought of two girls? Yeah. Okay. But you know, if there's, if when you hear nine, nine years old, like it, maybe the first thing wasn't her age, but if you're still thinking about a nine year old, and then going as far to express that in the messages. I mean, do you remember sending a picture and asking if the nine-year-old saw it? Okay. Why did you want the nine-year-old to see your Okay. Like, I respect you for not wanting to force... can't really explain Yeah. I mean, cause, you know, obviously there's bad people online that... Like, I don't think you would have killed them or anything like that, but... You know, obviously, that, you know, and I, and I think the Internet's a very just bad place in general, you know. Um, do you, do you like, watch all and stuff like that? Okay. Have you kind of gone down a dark rabbit hole with that stuff? Okay. Has the point ever got into, like, you know, because obviously you, you sent a video, videos. Um, do you remember sending porn videos? Okay. You sent that a very, I'm not going to say underdeveloped, like they looked like young adults, um, but very flat chested, very, yeah. I mean, there's obviously, and I think what happened to you triggered that. It's not your fault, but there, you, that, there's that type that there's a pattern with that. Well, to be honest, I think I, I sent that particular because it make her feel comfortable, I don't know. Mm. And, you know, I like, I think it was expressed that your thing is flat chest. Mm -hmm. Your thing is flat chest. Not really. I mean, Honestly. she sent a picture of her flat chest that you called Just to make her feel Okay. Well, I guess. I don't okay, well, I'm just going to let you know that was a picture of a, we got like a guy to, yeah, I was not really a child or a girl, just a guy with, you know, but, you know, uh, so, I mean, the thing, because obviously that can lead people down a really dark path, I mean, did, have you ever gotten carried away and just looked up? That's potentially like illegal. No. Now, has anybody has anybody ever 
sent you that type of stuff without you even asking for it? No. No. Is there a time that... You go on what? I go to uh, what was it? XN and double X. Yeah. I just watch what's on there. Okay. And you just search up like stuff like flat chested and stuff like that. Honestly, it's not easy what I look for. Okay. I mean, do you think there's any photos on your phone you should probably delete right now that could be? No. Okay. Has there ever been a time where you probably deleted some photos that shouldn't be on there? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not talking about, you know, photos of a 25-year-old on a man's face. I'm talking about photos that involve someone more like Katie's age doing some stuff. No. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Have you ever gotten curious and viewed that at least once? No. Well, we've gone to legal sites. Okay. To the far this has gone with stuff like, you know, I'll just say the word child, you just asking people for it online. I just go to the one site and just scroll through it, see something I like and watch it. Right. No, but I mean, like, with, you know, with Katie, I mean, you obviously ask to see it. Yeah. But, and with other young ladies, was it just kind of similar? Like, did you just kind of ask for it? They just didn't send it, and you didn't really force the issue, or is that kind of... I never asked the other ones for it. Okay. The other ones, it was literally just... I think I was asking for them, and then when I found out the age, I didn't... I didn't have to... Okay. So you remember asking other kids for details before you do their age? Yes. Okay. Did, did the other kids tell you their age kind of immediately like Katie did, or did they kind of... Did they tell you on Scout or on the phone, or... I don't remember exactly. Okay. But, you know, Brian, like, you know, obviously if you're asking for from this 14-year-old Katie and you said you've asked for other kids for before, but before, before you knew their age, I just, you know, I don't, I think it's kind of, the timeline's kind of mixed up here, man, because there wasn't anything remotely, there wasn't anything remotely here in the chats that indicated that you were apprehensive about this or anything like that. I mean, was it a moment of getting carried away? I did mention a few times that I was nervous that it was going to be something like this anyway. So, I mean, right, but... I was nervous about even doing anything with her, period. And right, but like... You, you know, with, with, the, with the other ones that, you know, I've told you that they're under 18 before, I mean, sure, do I believe they didn't send you yeah, but I, I do believe that, and like I said, I don't think you're going to do this again. I think you're scared shitless right now, which, you know, I appreciate because, dude, your wife needs you, your kids need you, and I know you can be there for them, and you're not a, you're not a bad guy at all. But, you know, I also know there's been times where somebody's told you that their age was younger lady under 18, and it was still similar pattern, like, Talk, I asking for nudes. For a little bit, but it wasn't long, it was long. Right, this was the longest. Yeah. Yeah, it makes well, sense. It wouldn't be long before I just block them. Okay. I just knew it was wrong. And... Got it. So your conscious catch kind of kicked in. Okay. So there. So is it reasonable to say that you probably did ask other younger ladies under 18 for knowing their age, but then your conscious kicked in? I. I possibly I did. Okay. I, I don't remember the conversation. Right. You just know at some point it was asked before or after they told you their age? Okay. And after they told you their age, there has been some times where there was flirting going on, but you blocked them? There'd be a little bit more, and then it just... Okay. Just, just kind of said, I can't do this. Got it. So uh, what, what do you think what, what, what do you think carried you on to talk for a whole month here and go meet? Because the meeting was asked for, like, the first day y'all talked. Is there stuff going on at home? Okay. So, or are you? Uh, depression, bro. The last couple of years. And... Yeah. Keeps getting going on. That's what I 
you gotta do. Do you, do you think that, were you like chatting her up at home or at work or where? Okay. Do you work here in Council Bluff or Omaha? Okay. So would you chat with her in front of your wife or would you wait till she's asleep or would you do it away from her or what? Okay. Man, can you uh, can you go to Bogies or check with Bogies the the pickles? Oh, there's a Cracker Barrel back there. Yeah, go order some pickles you from there. Place order? Yeah, yeah. Is that it? Just pickles. Yeah. Oh, my can you give me a water. Yeah. Do you want to drink or anything? No. Okay. I have to drive over there. Okay, that's fine. How many people we got watching? About 20. I'm going to have to end it. Yeah, just end it. Yeah, just end it. You want to drink? Just to give me a water, yeah. I mean, so, like, what, what, what do you think is going to happen at home? bring a towel last night? No, okay. I mean. And dang, it's just like, obviously, I mean, is part of the excitement here in these messages because it was just so taboo, maybe? Okay. I mean, dude, obviously, I mean, you're, you're probably still feeling the effects of what happened to you as a kid today, man. I mean, can consent, consensual or consensual or not, a kid can't consent, you know that? He, I mean, you knew firsthand that can't happen. I mean, this is obviously the biggest mistake of your life. Just, I mean, dude, like, this is... What did, did, so I assume your wife called you after we left? Your mom did? So I assume your mom knows about this now? Okay. What did, what did she tell you, if I may ask? She said you guys were there. She said what? You dropped her off, you dropped my wife, and you were there at my house, and then dropped my wife off to punch stuff. So. Hmm. I mean, Yeah, I mean, dude, this is like, I mean, how are your kids, how do you think your kids are going to comprehend this? Do you think they can comprehend this? Possibly. I mean, it was said in the message, I mean, Katie's your kid's age, right? It was said in the messages, you know, I like that you're more mature than my kids. I mean, this is... This is, it's not good, man. It's not good. You work, you work too hard and you've, you've come too far to do this. Oh, I mean, this is just, I mean, it's pretty depressing. It's 
pretty fitting that everything's kind of crashing down on you when you're in an avalanche there, but trying to lighten the mood. But, I mean, I mean, yeah, you definitely have some soul searching to do, for sure. Damn, bro, like. I would just, I mean, that's the thing, like, you know, there's a lot of kids in that trailer park, I'm sure, too, huh? Yeah. Are any of them gonna have stories about how, like, have stories about how, like, you looked at them weird or anything like that? No. Okay. Did your wife know that what happened to you kind of triggered this type of attraction that you have? Okay. I mean, she seemed like a very understanding woman, um, <laughs> more so than my girlfriend would be. Um, I would just, gosh, man. Is the reason you kind of bolted out early in the morning to avoid us? No. Okay. I'm starving, man. Jesus Christ. What kind of, did, did you expect us to find your house? Okay. Just. Oof, gosh. If I was into like TMZ or drama, I'd love to be a fly on the wall when you get home. That's gonna be some shit. She has the messages, your wife. That's just. I mean, were you thinking about just kind of bolting? Were you thinking about just kind of bolting and just, no? Okay. Man, this is just, it's really. Oh, there's Jimmy. Oh, man, it's just kind of. I mean, uh, and then there were phone calls that you guys had, right? Okay. Were they just pretty simple too, without getting too much into them? Somewhat. Okay. For the food? Yeah, yeah, they they only have bottles of water, so we'll just pick it up and pick up the food. Okay. Yeah, so. Cool, cool, cool. They said they're pretty busy right now. So. Okay. How long ago did they say 25 minutes? Uh, that was like 10 minutes ago or so. I used the bathroom, so. Got it. Probably about 10 to 15 now. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Well, I mean.
Jeez, Louise, dude. Here. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get the phone from my car real quick. Just okay. hang on to these. Yeah. Mind you stand here real quick. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. The gowns are bluffs. Did you? <laughs> what a freaking idiot. Man, oh man. Well. <laughs> oh, Tafilos. I mean, do you think you can reconcile it with her? In 23 years, man, potentially down the drain. I mean, I guess like 23 years down the drain is better than 14 year old in the whole but. But I mean, I, dude, she she seemed very, <coughs> she seemed very, fire. she seemed very understanding, and you guys can rec reconcile it. I mean, what is what did you said? Your mom called you about this? Did she just basically say go talk to them? Okay. <sighs> Better do what? Really. What 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 made you want to talk to us? Did you feel guilty? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, shit, dude. What's uh? Oh. I you. Well, I mean, yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would really try to reconcile with the wife and uh, shit. I mean, but the, I mean, but the, the the issue is that like you know, real kids have been asked for from from you, man, and you know, I, I get that kids go throw themselves out online, as they should be taught not to do, but you know, don't be don't 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 be the reason why they're told to not throw themselves out there, you know. Because the thing is. When you ask these real kids for news, they go and flirt with them. They just go start bouncing around to other guys. Eventually, do I think you're going to be the kidnapper that ends up killing them? No, I don't. But you're the guy that flirted with them and asked for news. That made them go bounce to the kidnapper. I mean, it's grooming, man. You know what grooming is? Shit. <clears throat> But
Where'd he go? Sorry. Is he in the car? Yeah. Wait a minute. No, he's not. Peach, peach. Oh. <laughs> They'll be ready. It'll be ready in five minutes. They asked us if we wanted like ranch or ketchup. I told them both. Is that cool? Oh, uh, yeah, we can just add. We'll, we'll pick it up. We'll just get blue cheese. Oh, okay, cool, cool. cool. Yeah. Ew. What? Hey, are you a ranch or blue cheese type of guy? Okay. Oh, my God. No wonder. <laughs> well, based on your I think you're a blue cheese type of guy. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. You know, I was actually pretty disappointed when I first saw it, like, in the skin. I was like, dude, there's no way it's this small. But then you peel the skin back, and I'm like, okay. That's a... That's like stuffing a human body into like a suitcase, man. I was like, God damn. <laughs> but. <laughs> uh, it's Instagram. We can say whatever we want. This is true. This is true. Because, you know, you know, you know, you know, on YouTube, it'll be like. I... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like watching a, like a movie on cable. Yeah. And it's like, you can tell. I mean, it's just. Oh, he didn't say freak, that's for sure. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a very certain guy comes and steals the wood from the back. You f <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, I'm so hungry, man. I'm starving, dude. I haven't eaten all day. I've been chasing, God, Brian. Well, actually, you know, I like what you did because you put me on my diet. Brian caused me to intermittent fast. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, how, how do I know that a whole stack or that a hundred pages, well, shit, that in over a hundred pages of text messages and hours of phone calls won't happen again to a kid? <sighs> they say they were cooking it right now? Yeah, they were, it was just, it was just wrapped, they were just about done. What? They just wanted to know if we uh, wanted like any condiments or anything. Oh. What's up for? I forgot to tell them. Huh? What? Okay. Oh, the food's ready? <sighs> Should we start going and get the food? Yeah. Uh, they said like two minutes, so I bet it is probably ready. No, they're actually door dashing it to us behind it. you. Oh, really? Yeah. They probably got it uh, bagged up and ready to go. Okay, field. Turn the camera. Just bridge in space. Beach. Get your reaction to it. All right, Brian, you're going to have to talk to that man. I, I, it's, I, have to rep I have to report it. I appreciate your honesty throughout. How's it going, sir? Oh, sure. If you want to film, go ahead. Yep, yep. Hi, I'm here for
should have this come over here. Just kill us. Well, like I said, I'll wait till my boss comes back there. I may have a Jew nose, but I can just sniff out anything. Okay. Sound good? First, too high to smell. Oh, God. That sure. He was too high to smell, yeah. No, I really did. When I walked up, I was like, I think he, he had to just smell. Yeah. Like he had to. Well, if you, if you smell something, tell me because I will. They arrested this guy. The guy in Hiawatha, Kansas, they arrested him for pot, then they added the charges later. Oh, really? Yeah. Sub, you're, so a bit, you're, you're hungry right now. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, man's yeah. starving. Yeah, Subway. Yeah. <laughs> 4 to 40, can you call in somebody please? Yeah, that has to be a sub, dude. Dude, the fact they found us on Twitter and Insta. Or no, I mean, you know, it could just be you know, probably. Yeah, they probably recognize and like, mm -hmm. there's no way they're the IG live. They recognize Yeah, yeah. Couldn't recognize you on the camera. He did. He's like, really? Hey. Uh, he had to do, uh, Tyson, uh, Cop, Cop just said that he had to it. Yeah, for real. I just wanted to run into the Whoever does the sex crime.
All right, Alex, what do you got for me? Okay, so these are a little bit out of order. Come on, man, you need to straighten that stuff up. <laughs> I run a tight ship here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I wasn't the one that decoyed him personally. Okay. Um, there was a lady named Deandra that did. Um, I can give you her contact info. Okay. But I do the confront, we travel the country doing this. Right for that. Um, so we did one at Council Bluffs two days ago. The guy came from Lincoln, he was a sex offender. Okay. They did not arrest him on the spot, they said because he was doing the chatting in Lincoln. Mm -hmm. But since this guy was doing the chatting um, in Hot County, yeah, because cool. he's from Carter Lake, so. Yeah, yeah, Carter Lake, Council Bluffs. He said he was doing chatting Carter Lake and Omaha, and I'm sure in Council Bluffs, too. And, um, yeah, so the other day, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yep. Yeah, yeah, last night. Last night, last night yeah. He said to go come to the park and meet who he thought was his 14 and 9-year-old girl for What park? Oh, uh, Lake something park? Over at Carter Lake. Big Park uh, Lake. Big Park? Oh, Big, big Park Lake. Lake. Big, big Lake Park, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Lake. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I approached him at his car and I'm like, yo, hey, uh, do you know where the basketball courts are? He's like, oh, I have no idea. And I'm like, okay, I gotta talk to you about these messages to Katie. And he instantly just rolls up his window and darts off. Okay. And so we found his house in Carter Lake. We knocked on the door. He didn't answer. So we come back in the morning. Um, predictably, his car was gone. So we talked to his wife and just said, hey, man, so this is what's going on. And so she got him in touch with us and he agreed to have a conversation. Never do we threaten the cops on him or anything like that. Never do we say, oh, I'm gonna you up if you talk to us it was all voluntary okay and um yeah so he agreed to he was already here i think he said just come here and we can talk okay and he admitted that he was at the park in fact to go have sex with a teenage girl and he said he said the nine-year-old he said he wasn't sure if he would do it the 14 year old girl he was set on doing it you um, got that in there somewhere oh, yes can you show me that because what i'll need is i'll need digital copies of all this so what i can do is have a link sent to you mm -hmm. And then you can drop everything that you have into that link, and then our crime lab can have all that. Okay. Because we're not uh, we're not paper, we're paperless. Okay. These days. And these were the decoy girls here, obviously of uh, underage. Yeah. So this was um. So this is actually a 51 year old woman okay. that did the face app thing. Oh. Okay. And so there was one pic sent from our end of like a bare of a bare chest, but what she did was she found a guy online because you know he wanted flat chest, so she found a guy online just showing his chest. So it wasn't actually okay. a CP or anything. Um, and so he's, and he admitted to sending a video that he made specifically for her. So, he, you know, he filmed it and sent it to her immediately. Um, that's also in the messages here too. Okay. Um, this is pictures that he sent. Okay. Um, and he said that he's talked to other real minors online before and asked them for okay. He, um, he admitted he talks about the nine year old. Who is this porno thing here? What's that say? Uh, they don't make it. So who's responding there? Hold on, I got. I got a lot.